Yeah, and I think that's fascinating to see the the difference in the opportunity in in the way that that company is structured and the way that they're approaching things. Um, and one of the things I really thought would be useful to talk about with you, in, particularly if you look across the the journey with BT, and now obviously at the start of what's likely to be another epic journey of transformation with <coughs> with Maersk. Um, what do you kind of, if you look at digital procurement and look at it across industries and look at the comparisons, the, the differences and similarities between BT and Maersk, what, what really stands out? Oh, so I was, um, so I think all procurement functions are fundamentally are dealing with that source to pay process. And so, of course, there's going to be a whole load of similarities across all of them straight, straight away. Everybody needs to do contracting. Yeah, you need to store your contracts, you need to author your contracts, you need to negotiate contracts. You need to understand your spend. You need to yeah, get wonderful insights from spend. Purchase orders are always going to be released. Invoices are always going to come in. You're always going to need to do um, three-way matching. You need to pay supplies. You're always going to be, uh, there's always going to be a need, a, de a desire to do some supply chain financing. We're always going to think about the supplier experience. So there is s more commonality than there are differences. So that day-to-day -day work that the procurement person is doing, the systems they need to touch, the tooling that they need to be operationally more effective is incredibly similar across all of the organizations. Where you start to see the big differences is in the execution bit. And that's, you know, you start getting more into them, what are the directs that we're buying rather than the indirects? Buying indirects is gonna be, broadly speaking, the same across industry, but the directs is where it gets different. Um, and the thing that I notice is the fundamental difference is always the people and the knowledge and the skills and the expertise. 